I downloaded a mod that adds a truly unkillable human to People Playground. And then I asked you guys, the fans, to try and figure out any possible way to kill him. Can you guys do it, or will you fail? Let's find out. So before we even start the video, I want to quickly introduce you to this truly unkillable person. So I have the mod right here, new 100% unkillable human, and I'm going to spawn him in real quick. Oh, my game's paused. There they are. And no matter what you do to this person, they will not die. I, literally, I could do anything, and it, it, it wouldn't matter. This is what you guys are up against. I don't think you guys can kill this person. I tried to. I spent a whole video trying to do it, and it didn't work. So I'm going to see if you guys can figure it out. I'll be using this random number generator to generate responses to look at to figure out how to kill this guy. So let's generate response number one. Generating first response, 55. Here's the form I had you guys fill out, and this person says, frogs, use hundreds of flaming frogs to kill them. Your name, Frogman. I see we are bringing back an old classic joke on the channel. Let me quickly ignite the frog, and I'll just spawn zero of them. Why is it not copying? Copy. <laughs> okay, don't let me copy it. I have to manually spawn them. Okay, here come the frogs. As you can see, there's quite a few frogs. All of them are on fire, and this guy is still very much alive. Let me clear everything just to show you. Even the clear everything button doesn't work. So yeah. Submission failed. Generating 155. How to kill them? I don't know. Use 27 nukes. Your name? Bullet Bill. 1, 2, 27. Oh my. Okay, it's a bit loud. I don't even know. This dude should be somewhere. You know, I gotta find where this dude went. Let me see. Oh, found him. And this dude's completely fine. You guys didn't even touch him. Ugh, stop. He keeps hitting the ground. Dude, he like glitches out and he keeps hitting the ground. This is a horrific sound. I can't even hear myself think. Stop. Also, submission failed. Stop. Generating 37. Press the undo key as many times as you can until he disappears and says undid. Whatever his name is. Simple. Your name. Super Toy 5000. Okay, I am pressing the undo button as you can see in the bottom right corner. It is... Hold on. I'm really clicking the button. This hurts. My hand. As you can see, no matter how many times I press it, I'll click pause so you can see that there's something new in the chat. I'm spamming the button so this dude doesn't delete. It doesn't work. So, uh, unfortunately, submission fails. Also, whenever I do this, my game lags horrifically. Submission failed. Generating 186. Hook up a lot of generators and maybe he will die. I don't know. Your name, Cosmic Toast. Okay, well, I hooked up 16 generators to this dude. Industrial ones, may I add. If this doesn't kill him, I don't think any more will. Here we go. Activating him. Uh, he doesn't even... Is he... He's not even being shocked. Is he, like, electrified? Hold on. Let me get a normal person to touch this person. What? Hello? Why is he not electrified? This would kill a normal human, right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Wait, so this doesn't even affect him. Like, he's not even, like, shaking or anything. Does this affect Satsuma? No, I guess not. All right, well, submission failed. Generating one. Black hole. User. A decimator and powered up using a generator will make a black hole. Put it right next to the unkillable human. Your name, Tunadev. Spawning black hole right now. It doesn't work. I can spawn many black holes in it. Oh, this is not pleasant to look at. Okay, we're gonna move over here. Yeah, so anyways, the black hole thing doesn't really work. Uh, no matter how many I spawn, it really doesn't matter that much. I can spawn 100 black holes and it would still not affect this guy. As you can see, he is uh, completely fine, mostly. Ignore the blood that's everywhere. Generating 44. Put him through my suit maker, and then there's a link that I have to download. Your name, Mr. Tornado. So I have to go to this link here. I have to download the Mushy Pulter suit maker. Do I already have this by chance, maybe? This better work good, because I had to download this and do a bunch of stuff. So I hope this suit maker thing works. What am I supposed to do? Hold on, I gotta look at all of this. Okay, so I have to bring this thing down to like an elevator, kind of. And then I have to activate all these chainsaws. All right, hold on. Let me activate all of them. Okay, so the meat starts here, and they get a little bath. I'm not quite sure what this liquid is. Let me put a normal human down to, like, for comparison. Sorry if you can't hear me over the extremely obnoxious sound. Press this to cook the meat. Okay, and let me cook the meat. Then I move the guy along. And we're just gonna keep going through the chainsaws without any damage whatsoever. Literally absolutely no damage. And then we're gonna drop down into this bowl. And uh, I don't know what this thing is. Oh, it's a container for the soup, I think. Let's put our very dead soup in the th in the container. Yeah, I mean, cool contraption and all, but this isn't a contraption video and also didn't work, unfortunately. Generating 122. Drop 10 Swords of Infinity on him. If it doesn't work, just... <laughs> Just do the next one. Your name, Peter, not Griffin. So if you didn't know, the Sword of Infinity is like one of the strongest items I think that I have seen that's modded. It literally like instantly kills anything. I don't know if it kills Satsuma instantly. Well, I didn't mean to spawn this guy, but here's a Time Traveler. He dies for a bit. Here's Satsuma. It actually doesn't affect Satsuma, so I don't think it's probably gonna affect this guy. Well, actually it kind of does. I have to spawn 10 of them on him, which this isn't. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll just, we'll go a little bit extra too. Here's a bunch. Uh, 
uh, as you can see, uh, it's damaging him, kind of. Like, why is his health bar bulging? Like, his health bars are, like, bulging in and out. What is going on right now? Yeah, I'm gonna have to say some mission failed, but I'm not even sure what's going on right now, because, like, this is, like, is this really bad? Download the Ultimate Holy Cross mod and the Spawn the Holy Cross. Open the context menu and press switch permanent peer and then activate. Your name? Call me Jester. Switch to permanent peer. I did that. Is he gone? Oh, wait. Is he gone? Did that actually work? If I switch maps, is he gonna come back? Uh, okay, well, the, uh, the game crashed. I don't know if that guy actually died or not. I have to assume not, because I used the Holy Cross in my other video, and it just sent the dude to somewhere random in the map, and it didn't actually kill him, and as soon as I went to a new map, he spawned back in. That could be a win, but I don't know if I'm gonna count it as a win, so let's continue. Generating 136. Use Sage Map but set his punch type to serious and or activate his hands. Your name BH Teaser. Okay, so this person says I have to go into the Satma menu, which I think is this right here. And set set power to wait. Punch mode. Serious. Okay, so now he's serious. And then I have to punch him in serious mode. Mm, I don't know, dude. It's not working. Not working. Oh, well that worked, I think, possibly. I activated his hands like they said to, and that sent an absolutely, sh like, ex shock explosion. Is the dude dead? No, right here he is, by the way. He's, uh, still fine, if you were curious. Yeah, so I thought that would work, but it actually doesn't. It just explodes them, and they, like, fly into some random obscure corner. Like, here they are again. So yeah, I'm gonna have to say submission failed. Generating 218. Feed him a fourth dimensional fruit from the gods mod. If that doesn't work, close the game and then reopen it. I'm not going to do the last part because that's just uh, that's just cheating. That doesn't... Here we go. We have fruit from the fourth dimension from the gods mod. I'm going to feed this to him. How do I feed you this? Activate maybe? Does, would a normal person eat this? Okay, so why won't you eat it? Nom, 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 nom. Looking back while editing this video, I actually want to sincerely apologize for that. I don't know why I did that. Why won't you eat it, dude? You're refusing to eat this. What is your problem? So again, I just have to like touch this to a person's face and they eat it. So if I do this, it works. But if I do this, it doesn't work. So I don't know why. I don't, I don't know what the difference here is. Doesn't work. Works. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Generating response, 147. Make the unkillable human eat two god cubes from the god cube mod. Your name, Matra. Okay, so what this person is referencing is there's this thing called the god cube, which I'll quickly show you what this thing is. If you put this on a person, they become like this godlike entity. If you give them another one, they explode as seen in the corner. Now, what happens when I do this to this guy? It just doesn't, it doesn't work on him. It'll just phase right through him. Like, it, it literally just doesn't work. No matter how hard I try, no matter what I do, whoops, that guy's gone. No matter what I do, the god key will not go onto the guy. So this does not work. Generating 113. The ancient artifact of death from the gods mod. Your name? No. Hold on. Before we do that, we have to let this guy fall on the ground first because he's uh, still airbound. Just give him a second. There we go. Ancient artifact of god. Glide the artifact into a person's head to kill them. So let's see if this works. Nope. This doesn't look like it's working. I'll spawn 50 of them and it won't work. Let me see what happens when I do this to a normal person. Oh, that's what happens. So yeah, just for reference, this is what happens when you do this to a normal person. But like I said, for this guy, it uh, doesn't work at all. So uh, yeah. Generating 145. Nuke from the Utopia Enemy Approaching mod. Your name, Banana Man. So I have to download a mod. Go to the workshop, look it up, and then Unity will give me an error message. Whoa, -ho. Utopia Remastered's here. I'm good. Wait, where, where's the nuke at? What does this even say? Last part, and then it's a whole constitution. Doomsday Bomb with another Pledge of Allegiance under it. I didn't know what explosive to use from this mod, so I just spawned all of them. I'm gonna activate this. Bomb needs more charge to... Ex what? What's this? Does this activate? Oh. Oh, all right. Well, that's what that does. Oh, that's what uh, the ballistic missile does, by the way, if you were curious. It does uh, that. Let me actually see if I can aim it a little bit better. Oh, all right. Okay, so by the way, the ballistic missiles did not kill this guy, if you were curious. I'm trying to figure out this doomsday bomb, because this seems kind of cool. But it says it needs charge. I don't know what that means. Does it need, like, an industrial generator? Are you kidding me? That's point? Ugh, this seems so unnecessary. I, can it just explode? Do I really need to charge this thing up with generators? Okay, well, the percent's going up pretty quick now. I guess I can just keep copying, pasting more generators. Is the face changing? Like, in the center? I feel like it is. No? 
Oh, see, look at the face change at 50%. This better be worth the wait. 80. Whoa, look at him. He's got old purple face. Ooh, we're ready to blow up. So if I click activate, is this thing going to blow up? Oh, we got 19 seconds. Okay, so we got 12 seconds left on the clock. Well, now 10 before this thing supposedly, like, explodes the biggest explosion ever. I mean, I had to do all of this. This better be worth it. Here we go. Oh, that hurt my- oh my- ow, 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 oh, 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 my ears, my ears, my ears, my ears. What is wrong with the person that made this mod? This is so unbelievably unnecessary. This is- uh, this is what my screen looks like right now. What is going on? I literally threw my headphones off. <laughs> oh, this, the dust is clearing. Uh, is the guy even- oh, well, there he is. <laughs> there he sits. And there's the bomb. Wow, was that crazy? That was a crazy submission. Look at his head spin. That messed that dude up for life. I was kind of harping on this thing before because it had a charge, but that was one of the craziest explosions I've ever seen in my life. Uh, the submission didn't work, but I mean, it was worth the wait. Generating 198. Oh no, this is a big submission. Okay, so basically what it's saying is spawn this person into a 2D map and then switch to the 3D map that I played in a previous video. This person's name is Crammy. If it doesn't make sense, you'll see in a second. So real quick before I actually do this submission, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to switch maps, all right? So here's our little guy right here. I'm going to choose, I don't know, let's let's go to the tiny map so it takes quick to load. And something crazy, it's going to blow your mind if you haven't watched my last video on this dude. It's going to absolutely blow your mind. This person transfers to map to map. He spawned in the wall right here, and he spawned in from the other map. Well, I mean, he's not doing great right now, but, you know. He literally goes from map to map. So what this person is saying, I'm right now on a tiny map, which is obviously a 2D plane. I have the 3D mods installed. So if I go to one of these 3D mods, obviously a 2D character can't survive in a 3D plane. So we're going to go on the tiny 3D map, and we're going to see if this guy can somehow follow me into here. I, for some reason, didn't test this out in my last video so i'm very curious to see if a two-dimensional person can survive in this 3d mod i think if this were to work it would happen right now okay so people's playground 3d is loading wait be very quiet i hear someone screaming did you guys hear that i swear in everything i heard someone scream i'm not even kidding i need i i swear if when i first loaded and i heard someone scream if i quit and i go to the main menu if, if there's is he gone wait is this it i swear i heard someone scream it worked! It worked! The person's not here anymore! The person's not here anymore! <laughs> Crammy Cram, since you killed the immortal human, I am giving you a special rank on my Discord server named the Killer of Immortals for killing that guy. Congratulations on the special rank and for killing the what I thought to be immortal person. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe and like and comment any ideas you have because I do. Jared is and I'll see you in the next video.